Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning English. This is Max. Hello, everybody. This is Cecilia. 欢迎大家收听早安英文 Hello, welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。Hey Cecilia, I just saw the photo on your moments. You and your father look exactly the same. Ah, you mean the photo of me and my dad? Yeah, I posted it on Father's Day. You may have exaggerated a bit, but yeah, my father and I do look very much alike. Isn't there a Chinese proverb saying that daughters look more like their fathers, and sons look more like their mothers? Yeah, you're right. 确实有这么个说法，就说儿子像妈妈，女儿像爸爸。You know, every year on Father's Day or Mother's Day, I would be so impressed by power of the gene. Oh, because everyone would be posting photos of their parents. <laughs> 是的，然后看着这些和爸爸妈妈的合影啊，你就会很想感叹，哇塞，基因的力量真是太强大了。Speaking of that, there are some other expressions which describe people who look alike. Let's share them with our listeners today. Great, let's do it. Okay, so what's the first expression? Well, one of the most frequently used expression is to say somebody takes after somebody. Take after 就表示长相、举止或者性格上相似。那在句子当中呢，我们把它翻译成“像”这个字就好了。If you take after a member of your family, you resemble them in your appearance, your behavior, or your character. For example, you take after your father. 没错，我和我爸爸很像，就可以说 I take after my father. 但是刚刚说了，这个像可能是长得像，也可能是举止像，或者说性格像，要根据上下文去判断的。Right, like in this sentence, she was a smart, brave woman. You take after her. Here it refers to the personality. 嗯，她是一名聪明勇敢的女子，你很像她。那在这里呢，就不是指的外貌了，而是指的性格或者说品质。Another interesting expression is a dead ringer. A dead ringer is not a broken bell, which might be many people's first guess. 没错啊，从字面意思上来看 ，dead ringer 好像是指坏掉的铃铛。但是这里的 dead 除了死亡之外呢，还有非常的、绝对的、完全的这层含义。它常用来加强语气。那 ringer 的起源呢，来自于赛马文化，指的是和参赛马匹长相一模一样的备用马。那后来呢，就用来比喻几乎完全相同的人或者物。So a dead ringer is used to describe a person or thing that seems very like someone or something else. 嗯，就是指这种容貌酷似的人，或者说长得一模一样的人。那需要注意的是，它后面搭配的介词是用 for。Yeah, for example, oh my god, your boyfriend is a dead ringer for Tom Cruise. Yeah, I wish. You know, in the beginning of today's show, we talked about how my father and I look alike, right? Yeah. Actually, look alike could be a noun when you put a hyphen between. Ah,、uh, yeah. A look alike is someone who has a very similar appearance to another person, especially a famous person. 嗯，也就是说，它常常被用来指与名人长相酷似的人。Like a Michael Jackson look alike, a Wu Yanzu look alike, a Jack Ma look alike. <laughs> a Jack Ma look alike. That must be difficult to find. <laughs> Ma Yun, 人家天生骨骼清奇，对吧？确实比较难找到和他长得一样的人。Yeah, it must be hard to find his double. By the way, do you know anyone who look like a star? Uh, well, me. I used to look like Harry Potter. You? Just because you are a Harry Potter fan doesn't mean you look like him.、Mm, you only say that because you haven't seen me with my glasses. Wait, here. Wow, you do like Harry Potter now. It's like magic happen when you put on that glasses, which makes you more like Harry Potter. <laughs> You're like his, uh, his.、Uh, I guess you could say、uh, double. Yeah, 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 double. You're Harry Potter's double. <laughs>、uh, thank you. If you refer to someone as a person's double, you mean that they look exactly like them. Hmm. So, actually, this double in here is just referring to exactly the same person. We can use of to draw out the similar person. She is the double of a mother. Have you heard the saying "two peas in a pod"? Like they are two peas in a pod. Yeah, I've heard the expression before. 
and it's actually easy to understand. 大家想象一下，豆荚里的豆子是不是都长得一模一样啊？所以 two peas in a pod， 一个豆荚里的两颗豆子，就是形容两个人一模一样了。For example, the twins are like two peas in a pod. 嗯，就是说这对双胞胎长得像一个豆荚里的两颗豆子，一模一样。Speaking of that, don't you feel it's such a weird thing to have someone look exactly the same as you? Wouldn't it be like looking into a mirror?、Mm, yeah, I suppose so. That may be the the reason for the special bond between twins. It is something that we would never be able to understand. To have a carbon copy of ourselves in this world. <laughs> carbon copy 就是指极像的人，极相似的事哈。那 carbon 呢？它本身是复写指的意思。So, you know, carbon copy 就是形容非常相似，一模一样了。Right, you can say he is a carbon copy of his brother. 嗯，就像我们中文有的时候也会说什么东西特别特别相似，就像复制粘贴的一样，对吧？那英文就会说跟复印的一样。那复印件呢？我们除了可以说 carbon copy， 还可以用一个词表示，叫做 duplicate. Yeah. I happen to notice your jacket is a duplicate of mine. Is it? Oh, because you are so good with fashion, and I've been secretly imitating the way you dress. Uh, well, I didn't realize that, but if you say so. <laughs> no, of course I don't mean it. I was being sarcastic. I may have bought this jacket before you. Ah,、uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back to our topic. Do you still have any other expression? Yeah, I think it's fair to say you are a spitting image of your father. Spitting image, 直译呢是分散的图像，引申为一模一样。It refers to a person who bears a strong physical resemblance to another, especially to a relative. 嗯，它更多的呢用来指这种亲戚之间容貌酷似的人。有的时候呢也可以直接说成是 spit， 或者说 spit and image。Yeah, people do say I am a spitting image of my father.、Mm, it just came to me that when you want to describe how similar two people look, you can simply say they are like twins. Hmm, is ah, 长得跟双胞胎一样。哎，说到双胞胎啊 ，you know, whenever I see twins on the street, I just can't help feeling worried for their parents. How are they gonna be able to tell one kid from the other? You really worry too much. Why should a single person worry about problems of twins? Yeah, but who knows? Maybe I'll have twins one day myself, and wouldn't it be a disaster if I can't tell apart my own children? Oh, relax. Even if that day comes, you'll be fine. I've never heard of a case where a mother had that kind of problem. There'll always be some differences, like mole or a birthmark. Yeah, I guess you're right. Even if they look exactly the same,、uh, which is a little possibility, they could have different personality. And most likely, I won't have twins. <laughs> Do you feel relieved now? Yeah. All right, then、uh, I think it's about time to say bye bye. Welcome to Morning English. 早安英文呢是一个为大家免费提供英语教学的频道，每天都会更新。如果你想获得关于英语听说读写的内容，我们都会在这个频道更新。我们的目标是帮助全球的华人学好英语。如果你觉得还不错的话，记得给我们订阅哦。另外，点开小铃铛，这样的话就不会错过其他任何学习视频啦。对了，如果你想获取本节课的完整版笔记，在视频简介或者评论区领取哦。你也可以给这个视频点赞，点赞就相当于自动保存啦。So Thank you so much for listening. This is Max. This is Cecilia. See you next time. Bye. Bye.